check in, see how everybody's doing today, tell you a little bit about our trip and activities that you can expect when you're at this resort and the food and the entertainment. So we'd like to talk about the flight first. Flight first, we didn't have too many problems at all. We took a non-stop flight from um, Phoenix on into um, Cancun. It goes daily. It's a non-stop flight. I would recommend anybody that flies to Cancun if you can uh, get a direct flight probably be the best way to do it. We had a few people down here with us that took connecting flights and had to change flights. Change flights and um, they missed a night of their hotel because they ended up having to stay an extra night in one of their connecting flight towns and then of course they ended up messing up their luggage the ongoing airline issues that's going on. Uh, the flight kept on being delayed, 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 so uh, then it then they connected to a different airport and that messed up the rest of their the flight, so it just messed up. The, they had to spend their evening on the floor in, in Houston. What she said was very cold. <laughs> so, um, anybody we talked to that did direct flights didn't seem to be having issues. It's the one with connecting flights. And if you do come to Cancun, you know, finding the cheapest flight might not always be in the best interest. And we paid a little bit more for the direct flight, but a lot less hassle. Yeah, so we, yeah, no troubles at all. So. I mean, our, our plane was delayed like a half an hour, but that was because it was coming back from Mexico. But and they had to check everybody through customs, customs so they so. delayed us by about a half an hour. So. That wasn't bad. So, um, once you get to uh, inland in Cancun, make sure you have your transportation to your resort lined up it is a little bit of a chaos when you walk out of the airport with so many people uh, yelling at you want you to get a ride with them I don't know if that's trustworthy we had all our set up through the resort and the resort did tell us that it, you know, not to pay attention to anybody, go straight to our place because we couldn't be trusted if anybody else that was doing um, transportation. Don't know if that's why they told us that because they wanted us to go through them or if it's you know something that's a problem here in Mexico. And make sure you bring. Um Plenty of small bills. I think that's one of our mistakes we made. Um, transportation was free. I mean, it was probably included in our resort, um, but it was. And it was about a 45-minute um, drive to the resort from the airport. But um, expect to do because this is one of the all-exclusive resorts, which mostly down in Cancun is what you're dealing with. So they rely heavy on tipping. So it's a good idea to bring smaller bills. They, I mean, they have broke down. We've asked, like at the restaurants and bars, if they can break a twenty or something like that. Some will, some won't. So I suggest bringing uh, a lot of ones, fives, tens. So you. Be easier so when you leave the restaurant or whatever, you can tip it to uh, what you think your service was. Yeah, we are so used.
cruise too. We've been on cruises before. You know, they're all like all inclusive. Everything's included, and then you do the tipping at the end. So we didn't think about tipping during the trip at each place that we stopped. So that was our fault, and so we tried to rectify that as quickly as we could. And. Um Cruises versus an all-exclusive resort. I, I guess I'm still, and probably Julie has the same like feeling. The I like <laughs> like the cruises. Yeah. I mean, I guess we're we're on land and we're staying in one resort, and it's very similar to a cruise because it's, it's all the all the drinks, and food is included. So, um, oh yeah, you can go outside and jump in the ocean right away. You know, there's daily activities just like they do have on cruise lines and all those things. Um, we suggest if you come here or any resort, they have an app that you download, so it will give you the list of uh, daily activities that they would have scheduled throughout the day on um, the resort. So you can, you know, play there water games or card games, bingo, um, crafts they have available. The, the restaurants also have their menus online so you can download, uh, at least at the resort we're at, they don't have menus and you right, have to you look it up from, on your, the, from your app. You order from your app and uh, they also tell you the dress codes. That, uh, is required for each restaurant. Um, we found out that they don't really. I don't think it's a. It's kind of like the cruises where they tell you, you know, you have to dress up. And, and it's they said the no t-shirts, and we saw plenty of t-shirts. And they said ladies with no spaghetti straps or tank tops, and we saw numerous no flip flops, and we saw people with flip flops everywhere. I mean, you're on a beach, right? So. But I, I can understand they want you dressing up and going into the restaurants. Some of the re I can understand some of the restaurants are very nice. Some are more laid back. So um, we're going to a restaurant tonight that you have to have dress long slacks pants. on, long yeah. pants on. They you know? have to have collared shirts. So and we'll find out. But so far the restaurants we made, we haven't had any issues, and we've seen. But we've kind of we go prepared. by the rules. Yeah, we, we prepared. We brought that type of clothing with us. But a lot of people didn't. And this is a family resort we're at. And they, uh, the resort we're at, they have three different uh, stages, I guess. Neighboring resorts. They One next to us up here is called Excellence. And that's the same, same resort, same things. But it's just for adults only, so they have a lot of things um, that are uh, just for adults. for adults with no children. I mean, this this resort here has some pools that are just for adults. They have a lot of children on them, so they have different places for that to to be separated a little bit. So plan ahead, and this was our first trip down here, and. We didn't scope it out a lot, we didn't plan it out a lot. Some people come more prepared than we did. We found out things today that we would like to have done, but since we're uh, flying back tomorrow, you know, certain times the uh, boats go out, you uh, have uh, parasailing, jet skis, yeah, they have lots of water activities and they have little places on the beach to go schedule those events and the snorkeling and scuba diving and deep sea fishing. A lot of that stuff leaves in the morning. So and it also gets sold out. So like we walked up to want to take a boat. Uh, this afternoon, it was like one. And they had told us to enjoy our stay. Got, went and picked up the luggage. Um, 
there was customers right there. They didn't. They didn't even stop. They didn't even stop us. Um, some people did get stopped. That must be a random thing, or if you have something to declare or something like that. We just we breezed right through there. Our longest part of that was trying to find the right taxi or shuttle service that we were supposed to be on. It was a little confusing when you walk out the door. Because they're all screaming at you. So. Very, very, um, several, several taxis, several shuttles, and they're all screaming and hollering uh, to take you where you want to go. So make sure you kind of prearrange that, and it'll be a lot easier. And um, just follow the directions that they send you in your email or however you arrange your setup time. So the other item was um, my husband had to buy new dress shoes and of course you know he had to go into all the places with new dress shoes and of course the uh, event that we uh, attended which was all day and he ended up with sore feet so he needed band-aids so um, things like that. Make sure you bring um, no straws down here. If you want, bring so it. bring it. Bring your, especially if you're drinking a cold coffee. Stainless or, steel straw. They, they, they yeah, if you, they gave yeah. you a blended cup of coffee, but you couldn't drink. It was it. hard. It was to very drink. difficult to drink. So bring your stainless steel, um, just uh, pop up straw that you can buy off of many different websites. Uh, a gal in our party brought her uh, bamboo straws, and those were very very handy. <laughs> So a little bit helpful. She brought everything. I mean, you name it. So if you have somebody in your party that's that has that type of personality that's very set, let them do it. Because man, they are on top of every. They they had it. You just they had it in their purse or their. Oh yeah, I have that. Too. Yeah, she had bug spray. She had. Uh, <laughs> she so. had the tide stick. So somebody spilled and they used that as well. Molly got bit up on his feet a little bit, so there was something in the sand that... that yeah, be prepared. Some people didn't bother them at all. Other people have, I presume, some type of uh, sand, uh, sand flea or something in the sand down here. Not much. It was but, just one foot in one area. So, um, some people got bit up, some people didn't bother them. So, you'll see some wildlife, of which I was surprised in a resort. I mean, Iguana. Yeah, they saw Iguana. It was pretty big. Um, there's some type of fox. I forget the name of the fox. It was uh, a, little, a, yeah, a little different than the foxes that we have in the States. It walked right in front of us, right across the path. It has a pig nose and a raccoon tail. Um, some homeless, some stray dogs. Uh, they like to come up, especially when you're uh, having a vent outside like we had um, that was at the end of the resort so it was more in a jungle it was actually next to like the golf course so it was more jungle area um, some stray dogs would come up for food and things like that so many weddings there was uh, about everybody we ran into and talked to was here because of the wedding so uh, I guess that's the end thing to do is destination weddings and uh, they bring the whole wedding party down and they have an all-inclusive um, time of, of their stay here and food and drink and then they have their wedding and, and um, they're beautiful. They're beautiful because it's on the beach, white sand, pictures are gorgeous uh -huh. and, and, and the wedding went out very smoothly even though all the troubles they had to begin with, with loss of luggage and staying in the airport and change of flights and things like that and then it all turned out to be okay and you and you can pay extra uh the wedding we went to uh it was the only legal wedding of the weekend i believe there was 13 weddings this weekend and uh they had a legal wedding so they had hire a judge to stamp, um, be there and stamp it, sign the paperwork. Um, they still require blood tests down here for a wedding, but um, they were, and that was at like an extra $200 to have the judge be there at the time of the wedding. 
so um, I can see why a lot of young couples, I mean, we got married many years ago and we did it in the United States, but we didn't do it like a typical wedding. We went to uh, Lake Tahoe and got married. Uh, but this is a little different because you gotta have people fly in and you know it's, you know, it's their a passport and it's a it's a little a little pricey. But I think the younger generation I can understand why they, they like it. So um, but I think it was, all in all it was a good uh, good time and there's a lot of things to do. So, and we've been down here, we did four nights, go home tomorrow, I think uh, some of the people are staying up two weeks, you know, it just depends on how long you want to be in this spot. What else you want to go through? That's about it, we're going to go have the Tomahawk Steak tonight, which is about a 45 ounce. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see if we can get that down or between the two of us. I don't, that's a lot of steak in <laughs> one sitting, right? But they say you have to try it, so we're going to try it. So, it should be, it should be fun. a lot of different, I mean, you can eat a lot of different restaurants, I think. How many different restaurants on site? Uh, I think they said like uh, 15. Or, yeah, 15, and then they had like 10 bars, separate uh, bars. Right. Yeah. Don't worry about, uh, I mean, it's up to everybody about their their drinking or whatever, but your room is fully stocked with um, drinks, food, uh, snacks. Uh, they refill it every day. It's all part of the price. Um, so uh, we're not, we have a few drinks, but we're not like when we were 20 years old, uh, it would have been probably a fantastic they put, time. They put four bottles of liquor in our one of the cabinets, one full bottle of Jack Daniels, one bottle, Scott, one bottle yeah, of Scott vodka, vodka. So, Scott vodka. And uh, I mean, we didn't open them up because I mean, you get free drinks wherever you go okay. around here. So, um, but yeah, it's, if you open them up and drink them, then they'll give you another one. And, uh, I think if you did that, you'd never the room <laughs> but the other thing we wanted to mention um, when we checked in my husband used his American Express card to put the deposit you know like a running deposit that you use um, while you're here and, um, and they ran six hundred dollars American Express but they ran it as twelve thousand pesos and American Express took it as twelve thousand dollars. So <laughs> we had a little mess with that when we first arrived. He had to call American Express because he didn't want that twelve thousand dollars to be charged on his car. Well, it declined, but um, the resort said it declined. American Express said it didn't decline. Um, a little bit of argument there. They finally go fine. So when they say you have to have a card on file, they I must not because they have continued to we go, what do you want us to do, you know? Because you're not running our credit card again because American Express said the card did not decline. So right. and I I I was able to log on down here. Um, because we do have self service to uh, uh, service that has uh, free um, cell phone service when you're in Mexico so mm -hmm. we were able and you got Wi-Fi in the room calls so, and so we, we were able to do calls and texts most of the time depending where you were on the property so um, anything else? No, I think that's it I think we'll follow up when we get back on the last night we have here and the flight home and picking up our dog. <laughs> yes, we're pretty ready to be home with us, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So, till then, adios, adios. Mexico, and take care. Bye-bye.